Hello everyone. In today's video, I will show you how to create a nice and user-friendly contact us page. We are going to build a frequently asked questions block so your visitors can get their questions answered almost instantly. And a contact form where your visitors or customers can easily reach you. And finally, we will put a map on the site so that if you have a physical store, your customers can navigate to it. Okay, let's go to the dashboard. In Theme Builder, add a new contact page. that you will edit with creative elements. In page settings, set the page to full width. Add a section and set the width to 1600 pixels to match the other pages. Add an inner section, set it to full width columns gap to no gap, minimum height to 500 pixels, and adjust the ratio of the columns. Choose an image for the top of the page that will match its content. Set its size to cover. Now you can start adding key information about your contact page, so that visitors know what to expect when they scroll down. Highlight the heading in large letters, so that it is easy to read. Text shadow is also a good practice, to make the title more readable. Write here a short sentence that explains why a visitor should contact you and describe how you can help to solve your visitor's problems. If you want less text width, reduce this in custom positioning, as I do. Now add a button that will take users directly to the contact form. We will configure this later. For now we will just make it look like the other buttons on your site. Set equal spacing between your elements. Using margins will help you with this. Add some padding to the column to make space at the edges. Select the middle in the content position if you want it all centered, hide the editor to enter preview mode. OK, in the next section we will build the frequently asked questions block. Add a two column section with a width of 1280 pixels. Set a 100 pixel top and bottom margin to separate it a bit from the sections above and below. Duplicate the existing title. Rewrite the text. Change the color to be visible and delete the shadow. Repeat these steps for the short sentence. Now drag and drop the toggle widget to create the frequently asked questions. Type the question for the title and the answer for the description. 
Don't write too much, a few well-worded questions can be much more effective and user-friendly. If the visitor can't easily find the answer to their question, it will enhance the user experience. There are lots of icons to choose from to further customize your toggle. You can't change the color and thickness of the border. I am using a pale gray in this example. It is a good idea to highlight the currently selected question with a different color. Using padding you can leave more space between the toggles. You can also move the icon to the other side, as I did. There are also a number of options for content. I am just going to do this by changing the padding to align the description with the title. OK. Now I want the title and tagline to stick at the top of the screen so that they are visible even when your visitors scroll down. To do this, use an intersection. Delete one of the columns. Set it to no gap. And drag the widgets into the remaining column. Now jump to motion effects in the advanced settings. Here choose where to stick it, on which device, and so on. There you go. In the next section we will create the contact form. To do this now simply duplicate what you just built. Replace the text with something like, didn't find what you were looking for. And drag and drop a contact form widget so that users can't contact you. Here you can select who to send questions to or let them choose who they want to write to. You can even set up custom contacts in the back office shop parameters tab. Add new contact. For example, if a customer has bought the wrong product and wants to return it. Save it. Go back to the editor. Click to update and refresh the page. The new option appears in the subject heading. This widget has the option to attach files from the customers, but if you don't want to, you can't turn this feature off. Here I want the two fields to be next to each other, so I set a 50% width for each. It is possible also customize the button. If you want to change the GDPR text, you can do so at any time by clicking on this button. And here you can do it. After update and refresh, the new label will be visible immediately. OK. Now let's continue with styling the form. If you set larger spaces, it will become easier to read. By increasing the line height, you can change the height of the fields. You can also customize their color. I would like to mention a few tips to follow when preparing your contact form. Such as, aim for this form to be clean, and the design to reflect your brand's visual identity. You should take contact form on your website as the backbone of the lead generation, so you can't grow your business by opting for it. By adding top padding you can align the form with the title question. 
type in a custom CSS ID. So the button above can scroll you here. Like this. Okay, now we're going to build a map section so that if you have a physical store, your customers can't easily navigate to it. Set the closing section to the same width as the first one. So you will have a nice frame structure for your contact page. Add the Google Maps widget to the left column. Enter the address of your store. Then set the zoom to your liking and the widget height too. Use CSS filters to set a custom color for your map. In the right column, the address will be highlighted using an icon box widget. For the column background, you can't set the same color used for the buttons. The map marker icon will be a perfect choice here. Type in the name of your store and its exact address. In the Style tab you can format the icon and contents. If you want it all centered, select the middle in the column layout settings. Looks good! Now optimize your Contact Us page for tablet. To make the text more readable, move it slightly to the right by changing the proportion of the columns. You can lower the height a bit here. Set the font size of heading to slightly smaller. Here I want the two columns to be below each other. It can be achieved by setting the width of both to 100%. In this case it looks better if the titles are in the middle. The bottom one is not centered, because we set its custom width to 80% on desktop. On tablet, set it to 100, and it will be centered. If you add a little padding to the left and right, you can align it with frequently asked questions. Nice! Repeat the previous steps for this section. Copy plus paste style saves you time. To make space at the edges, add some padding to the column. OK, now look at it on mobile. Make the first section more visible by adjusting the padding. Resize the cover image to make the text more visible. These font sizes might be a bit large on a phone. Reduce them to 30 pixels. And here, center the button. You are done with the optimization. Save and go to the preview page.
Now we can't test the contact form. Select your newly created subject heading. Enter your email address and a test message. And don't forget to accept the terms and conditions. OK, now let's go to the customer service page on your back office. Here you can't see the incoming messages, click on it. You can't reply to it here. Now let's go back to Theme Builder. Activate your new Contact Us page and select it in the Theme Settings. Finally, let's put a link in the footer so that it's available at the bottom of each page so that visitors can easily find it and contact you. Start typing the name of the page and then select it from the drop-down list. If you don't have your footer built with creative elements, you can't click on the top right corner to watch our video about it. Save it and go to the back office. View your shop. Scroll to the bottom. And open your Contact Us page from the footer. Thanks for watching this tutorial video. Take a look at your business's contact page and see if there are any changes you can make to provide a better, easier, and more enjoyable experience for your web shop visitors. I hope I have been able to help you and that you will join me in the next video.